Goeiemorgen, good morning, namaste, salam alaikum en een baie, baie goeie hartelijke vrijdag. Ik hoop uh, die week wat was, uh, is daarom nou voorbij. Uh, ons is een paar minuten, so twee minuten voor tien, uit de bewolkte, maar donker vrijdag, soos bij baie mense, geen kracht, geen energie, geen es kom nie. Good morning from a, a cloudy Cape Town, but as you can see, uh, sitting in the dark, uh, like so many South Africans this morning, without power, electricity, but the march goes on. Ons gaan aan, ons doen wat ons moet doen as Zuid-Afrikaners. Um, baie welkom, Baie goed om terug te wees, laas week vrijdag uh, kon ek dit nie maak nie, ek was in die raad, uh, in die raadsaal, but I would not miss a Friday 10 o'clock, if I can. Uh, but this morning we are here, uh, so uh, welcome, uh, goeiemorgen Marty, uh, Louise, Cherise, good morning my girl, welcome, daar hy die mooi uh, George, um, Ek weet, baie mense het vir my boodskap gestuur om te sê, hulle het ook loud shedding, so hulle sal maar na die video kyk later, uh, and it is alright, that, that's, that's fine with me, as long as we share it, um, and, we, and we promote the, the truth which I give you every Friday, die waarheid wat ek vir julle gee elke vrijdag. Ons moet het versprei, ons moet die mense laat weet, elke lieve dag, wat is die waarheid? Ja, en partijmaal maak het seer, maar dit is hoe dit is. Uh, met enige wond, met enige ziekte raak het partijmaal eers erger, voordat het beter raak. I know with every injury, with every illness, many times it gets worse before you get better. And that's where we are. So dit is nou tien uur, baie goeie morgen, Goed om julle te sien en I, um, I'm ready to just give you the truth as it is. Firstly, as normal, I'm going to talk to you about the week that was. Die week wat was. And give you some of my opinions, because that's all I have. But many of them informed opinions. Not opinions that we get from the air but from very good sources, understanding intelligence, and I'm not talking about IQ, I'm talking about information, which I must tell you, I am connected. Gele vandag baie, baie regheid antwoorde op my opinie, maar dit kom van intelligentie, ne? Praat nie van jou IK nie, ek praat van inlichting. Soos baie mense het ons allemaal opinies, en elke dag as ek op Facebook is, dan sien ek maar allemaal so opinies, en die mense wat werkelijk waar vir jou sê, dat is die opinies, betuimal, is dat die die opinies, alles uitdraai, teen die opinie. So een mens moet baie versichtig wees oor opinie, en baie mense verkoop die opinie as een feit, Many people sell their opinion as a fact. And if you sell your opinion enough, people will start believing that your opinion is fact. And one of those opinions is my summary of the week. Is everybody last week, except Neil De Beer, on this page, saying that Cyril Ramaphosa, Suki Cyril, will resign. But on that day of the exposure last week, Thursday on Pala Pala, where many people, baie funny mense, went on Facebook and said their opinion coming from intelligence sources is that Cyril Ramaphosa will resign. He's going to announce it. Well, you were wrong. Neil De Beer was right. He's still here. Now they're trying to reverse and say that, you know, circumstance, yeah, 
I told you that day that he will not leave. And I told you that because many of the people that are giving you these opinions were never, will never, and can never be in contact in the depth of the ANC like me. Now, when I started my campaign, leaving the ANC, Lopdaid was because I vehemently disagreed with the ANC of today and of a year ago. But I am still connected and I understand the belly of the beast. And that is the advantage, South Africa. That's the advantage I've got. Not you. 32 years I looked at that belly of the beast. And when it turned to be a destructive force, I decided no more. Does he fight there? So when you have a praat with the opinion of the president, the ANC, the binnenkring, the binnenmaag, man, I understand it. I was there. So we have to stop to nonsense to verkoop in a land that has no hope. As a belief, people. You get the truth. A hyena that on a carcass smell sal vir enige ander dier knor as hy daai karkas wil wegvat. Maar as liew inkom, staan na hierna weg, maar op hierdie stadium is daar net een oorweldigende klomp aan hierna's wat op hierdie karkas smil. En die hoof van hierna is Cyril, Ramaphosa, do you really think, honestly, that that man with the rest of his pack of hyenas are going to let the carcass of the treasury and the republic just go? You are naive, uninformed, and you are speaking utter nonsense. We can't afford that anymore. Here create the waarheid. Jy kry het regheid. En ek maak nie profetiese, ideologiese wense en uitsprake hier nie. Ek praat die feite hier. En dit is wat jylle nodig het. You need to be armed, moet versichtig wees nie, armed with the truth so that when you sit at a braai, when you sit at a dinner, when you sit at a meeting, when you sit in a discussion, that you speak of truth and hallelujah. Daar gaan die kracht aan. Daar sy. Daar sy. Kom ons praat gauw oor die week wat was. How terrifying is. Yesterday's retirement message of Vice Admiral Shlangwana, the head of the Navy. What a verskrikking die woorde wat geëiter is in die publiek in sy laaste toespraak van Visie Admiral Shlangwana. Wat godskryende skande dat een admiraal van een vloot in sy totsiens boodskap sê in die publiek, dat is sy woorde verbatem, met ander woorde woord vir woord, hale kom nou aan, where he says, that if the South African government does not drastically intervene in the Navy's operational funding, that we will have, Ikomai, that we will have a Navy that will be stuck in a harbor. Where am I? The aftredende hoof van die vloot van Suid-Afrika, die eens machtige groot eenheid, 
dat die aftredende hoof van die vloot in die publiek eergister sê met zijn laatste toespraak, dat als hier die staat en government niet ingrijp in die vloot nie, dat onze vloot gaan kry wat net in die haven moet blijven. En die publiek sê hy dit. Hy sê dit vir die wereld. Nie net voor ons nie. So elke jan rap wat nou wil versteel, so China, en die mensen wat op trollers sit en ons eie waters penetreer met stoknette, weet nou, Ja, my humble apology everybody, um, is kom, is kom, it is now even stifling speech, uh, groot of verskoning, ek gaan net gauw gauw weer, my systeem het maar nou afgegaan en gaan nou weer af, so kan ek maar nou net weer een minuut gee, I'm back, sorry everybody, uh, kom ons gee net gauw gauw minuut, uh, I've now lost more than 300 people that were on the live. Uh, so let's just give a minute. My apology, by jammer mense, my system het maar nou platgeval met die eskom ding. Uh, but yeah, we've got power back. So uh, let's just wait, if you can, for a couple of minutes. Uh, let us then uh, just get back where I was. Bye jammer. But that's life. Uh... Welkom terug. <laughs> Frustrating. Frustrerend. Dat ons nie met die volk kan praat nie. It was easier when we were in town halls. Ne? Dat was maar makkelijker as ons in stadsale was. Uh, I'm going to continue. We are not going to break. Uh, I left you with the last sentence of my discussion on the so-called depletion of the Navy but I also told you it's not just the Navy I told you it is the Defence Force and that's shock and horror because if we can't protect ourselves from the matter of the sea and the shore how do we protect our borders which in any case we know has fallen apart the Defence Force is exactly that. It is supposed to be that. The Defence Force. And that's very interesting. Because it is now admitted by a most senior commander of the Navy that we have got no more Navy in the future to protect us. Skande. The next matter that has been in the news, the following thing, what elke dag now in the news was here in week, is the release on parole of a gentleman called Janus Valus. You will remember Janus Valus was one of the people with Clive W. Lewis that murdered, assassinated Chris Hani which is now more than nearly three decades ago. Janus Wallus and Clive W. Lewis at the SA Communistische Partij, so with Chris Hani and Boxburg, that he was on Sunday morning dead. But this is about 30 years ago. The court found that Janus Wallus and Clive W. Lewis at the SA Communistische Partij, was incorrect, no matter the attempt, no matter the crime, no matter the justice, that he was eligible to parole. And a day before he dies, uh, before he leaves, they want him to die. So they stab him while he's standing in line for his supper in a prison but they did not get it right to kill him. Janusz Walus is now on parole, but funny enough, he may not leave the country to Poland. What a weird circumstance. 
Suid-Afrika is die justitie in hierdie land nie kan opstaan en recht, rechtverdigheid en gerecht toedien nie. Daai dag kan ek vir julle sê, werkelijk waar, is die lichte af in hierdie land sonder reiskom. The day that we cannot have an independence in the judiciary, that day, truly then, and only then, will I declare that South Africa is hopeless. The reason why Janus Valus' court decision is important factually, where my, die rede hoekom hierdie perool uitspraak van die hof belangrik is vir jou en my, ga nie oor Janus Valus en wat hy gedoen het nie, dit weet ons toch allemaal, Wat vir my belangrik is, is dat terseide die ANC se druk, terseide hierdie staat, se forcering dat die justitie onder hulle bevel moet wees, het die hof besluit, teen die ANC, dat Janus Walus as een mens die recht het op perool, Dit geef vir my een barometer en een sin dat feitlik nog steeds ons justitie op baie, baie vlakke die rechte besluit neem. En dit is baie goed vir my hart en jou ne, dat die rechtssysteem nog kan opstaan en rechtverdigheid uitgeer. So Janus Walus is free on parole, but justice as far as I am now concerned is done. But on the same matter, the Zondo Commission again popped up and the major pressure on the fact that we must act on the Zondo Commission's outcome. In other words, the arrests of major ANC top structure leaders. I see is being buffered now until after the conference in December. That like for my sure. Met dan worden al die mense wat in die Zondo Commissie se strukture van amper 3 jaar en 1.3 biljoen rand se kost is. Die topleierskap van die ANC en die mense wat hulle self nie kon help om ons land te stroop nie. Ek sien die mense word op hierdie oomlik gebuffer vir arrestatie en lyk like my dit moet gebeur na die konferentie van die ANC in 2 weke. The UIM will not let this go. The UIM will hold on. Want net soos hierdie hyenas ons land stroop van vlees en geld, is daar een ou Afrikaanse spreekwoord wat sê, een aasvoel is een geduldig gevoel. Want ouwe aasvoel moet sit en wacht dat die leeuw en dan die hyena klaar maak, maar hy weier om te gaan. Hy sit en wacht en hierdie gesprek is die UIM daai as voel. We are not going to let the Zondo papers go. In actual fact, as of next year, every week, we will expose a section of the Zondo Commission's people charged. And in public, we will mention them every week until they are arrested. That's all that we can do, but it is enough. You will help us spread it every day. So, Justice Zondo, well done on the Janos Valos decision, because it was you, our Chief Justice. But now you were the head of the Zondo Commission. Please don't let this country down. This country will never accept that looting and state capture is over until we see leadership behind bars. You've got to have the guts to lock up our minister.
You have to have the guts to lock up a government leader. But if that is what it takes, then so be it, because you were very quick to lock up Jacob Zuma. You were very quick. But what that means, therefore, is that an ex-retired state president can go to jail. Well, if an ex-state president can go to jail, so can you. So can you. Want onthou, what is good for the goose is good for the gander. And at this moment, we are acknowledging that an ex-president could go to jail. What about an existing one? Laten mens dink, nee. Pala, pala, maar ons kom nou daarby. The last point on my opinion of the week that was is a shocking and terrifying law that they are trying to shuffle through parliament. Daar is een nieuwe wet wat hulle op die tafel was het, a new bill as they call it and I am opening it to you today. I'm opening it to you because you must take note of this. In the past week, but previous to that, the UIM was notified that this government under the ANC is trying to slip through a new law, a new bill, a new vet. And it is the law that is supposed to be countering terrorism. Hierdie nieuwe wet wat hulle probeer deerdruk, stil, onder die water, sonder kennis, is die nieuwe wet teen terrorisme wat hulle op hierdie oomlik dier die parlement wil kry. But this law, in actual fact, is not just against what we will think is a terrorist. Terrorist, in other words, foreign and domestic. Someone that would like to perform an act of terror against this government. That is not what that bill is about. No. In that bill, what they're trying to cover as well is that anybody that has a diverse opinion against this government could also be charged under this new law. Hoor my mooi? In hierdie nieuwe wet wat hulle wil deersit, probeer hulle ook mense wat teen die staat praat, onder die klassificatie van terrorisme plaas. Now what does that mean? That means, Chris Brits, Chris Brits, that means, that a man like myself, Chris, that stands up and fights for your right, no matter how I do it, but I do it every day, will now be charged or could be charged with an act of terrorism. And make no mistake, they would love to do that to me, no matter my past. That beteken that the man soos ek, en vele ander, nie net ek nie, wat besluit het om op te staan tegen die absolute uit mekaar skeer van ons land, dat ek ook onder die wet tronk toe kan gaan. Now that brings a big decision to leadership in this country. Jy sien, 
in die verlede voordat hierdie wet deurgaan. Het verskye mense opgepop en besluit dat hulle landsleiers in een Facebook gevecht met opinie wil gee. Maar jou vraag is hoeveel van die mense is bereid om tronk toe te gaan. Hoeveel van hulle is bereid om te sterf vir die ideologie? Wel, Chris, this man is willing. Ja, ja, ek is bereid. You see, in this year, this dramatic year in my life, I faced death. Death in cancer. Death five months in hospital. 97 days in ICU. And they lost me twice on that operating table. I fear nothing but God. Wear me. For the rest of them who are so up and groot back raak, you must be ready to pay any price for your land. Hear me. There will be many of those men who are weak. There will be many of those warriors that are suddenly going to disappear when this so-called anti-terrorism bill comes to law. But Neil De Beer and the UIM, we are not going to move. We will remain steady in the light, in the truth, no matter what. I give you that as my promise. We won't ever give up. We are fighting this bill. Because many people ask us, what are we doing? What maak jylle? Wat doen jylle? Dis wat ons maak. Ons is nie elke dag in die publiek bezig om vir jylle te vertel hoe hard ons werk in die stadsrade waar ons is die gevechte wat ons doen, die straatbekleierheid tegen geweld, misdaad en gewere, die elke aandse begrootings wat ons probeer deerkry om jylle te help, ons sê nie dit elke dag op die nies nie. Ons doen net ons ding. We just get it done. But if you vote for us, and if we are now in three councils and doing the dramatic things we are as one councillor in three metros, we could have done so much more in this attitude that we've got if we were voted in more. But I understand we were new. I was not trusted and some still don't. The regret we now have matters not. What matters now is 2024. That you now trust us that a single small party can cause so much havoc, which we do now because the media has now noticed we are consequent, we are honorable, we do not fear and we stand and we don't waver on accountability. We did not promise houses. We didn't promise electricity. We promised that in every way possible, we will keep you, the government, you, the other political parties, bloody accountable every day, and we are succeeding. Yes, we are. Just watch my stuff in council. Watch Fatima Abdul, what she's doing in Johannesburg, steadily and slowly. Watch what Jay is doing, Jay, in Etokweni. One man against many has got a mighty voice because it's not one man. We are resonating through the voice of God. 
Ons is nie net een raadslid nie, ons het die stem en die luidspeker van God en hy maak ons stem net groter man. Nou elke dag, every day, more people are turning, you should see the membership of the UIM, it is exploded in three months. Why? I'll tell you why people are leaving the Freedom Front, the DA, the ANC. They're leaving, 18 of them. And every other political party, why they are shedding people to the UIM? Because we are a party of the truth. So help me God. Klaar. Finish. Ons staan in God man. Ons staan in die licht. Niks wat jy bring, tronk of dood, gaan my stop nie. Niks. Want ek dra die skuld in die licht van God, man. Dis hoe kom ek instap, terwyl gangster skiet. Dis hoe kom ek ingaan, na plekke waar mense sê, oe, jy kan nie, en ek stap daar in, want ek weet, al is dit die laaste ding wat ek doen, vir jou, Ek vrees nie, want ek het God sy wapen by my. Man, ek glo dit, hoor my, kyk my blauwe oogies. Ek, ek glo dit, I believe it. And that gives me strength. And it should give you hope. So let's talk about the three points quickly that I want to speak about. Number one, Cyril Ramaphosa is going nowhere. Hy is nou vastgegespe op een leer sitplek met sy gat, so superglue op die sitplek. Hy gaan nergens oor die profetiese ideologie. Hy gaan wen in december. He is already sitting with more than 2,000 votes from the branches and the only one that's actually opposing him which is the ex-Flandere of Ministry of Health, Dr. Mkise. Yeah, that one that was accused of raping and pillaging in COVID time. He has got just over 900 votes for president. So let me tell you, the fact is, Cyril Ramaphosa leads at this current moment with more than one and a half thousand votes on the next one. So let me give you some ANC inside intelligence, clear, but you can find it on their website. Cyril will be president again. And the probability that Dr. Mkise will be the vice president no matter the accusations of pala pala and the theft of COVID contracts of Makize, that is your future president and vice president of the ANC. And if by no wish of mine, the ANC dares to win in 2024 in the national elections, that will be your president and vice president of this country. That's a fact. So I am telling you now at the ANC conference in two weeks at Nazrek, in my opinion, opinion, that is where it's going. So no matter what the vote brings out at the ANC leadership conference, It's a dark cloud for the future of this country if they succeed in again taking our country away from us in 2024. Dit is die waarheid en dit is hoe hy gaan uitspeel. Die rest is nie belangrik nie. Net die twee. Ek sal u aanhoudend die inlichting gee soos dit kom maar moet nie surprised wees as dit die uitslag is nie. Dis die feite. Die ANC gaan niks doen meer in die land vir die volgende drie weke nie. Not that you will notice any difference. 
they are going to stop doing whatever they are going to do. Not that you will notice. And they are going to now fight to get their cow, their hyena, in play. That's all they focused on now. Trust me. That's how it is. Alles nou besig om geld teemde beloftes te maak om hulle man in te kry. Jy sien, elke koei se speen moet gesuig word. Jy sien die koei as syrl. Die melk wat daar le is ons geld en die speen wat om uitspoeg is die tesorie en die kalwis wat kom suig is die looters en die kriminele wat zondo en die rest van ons uitvind. Maar die vraag Suid-Afrika is nie wie is die koei nie. Die vraag is nie wat is die melk nie. Die vraag is nie wie is die mense wat op die tiet en die speen suig nie. Die vraag is wie besi die koei. Aha. The question is not about who is the cow. The question is not who is the milk. And the question definitely is not who is sucking on that milk. The question is who owns the cow. Because there is an owner of this cow. And that's the interesting part. We'll find out. Ons sal weet wie die eienaar is. Soos tyd loop. En ek sal het vir julle sê. We'll find out who's the owner of this cow. And then we'll tell you. After the conference. It will be known. In the intelligence and security services, there was a saying, if you don't want to keep a secret, tell someone a secret. In the intelligence dienst het ons altyd gesê, as jy nie op enige oomlik a baie vertrouwelike stuk inlichting, a geheim, wil behou nie, vertel iemand a geheim. <laughs> Ek los dit daar. Napoleon Bonaparte once said when a country loses hope when the nation has fear and finally anger is added it is then very possible that revolution will come. He says, then the people with the pitchforks will storm the Bastille. Napoleon het gesê, as a land geen meer hoop het nie, as op hierdie oomlik angst inkom, en een oorweldigende gevoel van kwaad, moet ons dan nie heel te mal op hierdie oomlik verbaas wees. As die mense met die virke van die plaas, die virke van die stede, met dan over die armes, die kasteel bestorm nie. South Africa, how far are we from those three matters that Napoleon spoke about being hope, loss, fear and anger. This country does not need the disparity of loss of hope, fear and anger. But as I said here, with the possibility that ESCOM is threatening with phase 6, 7 and 8, the downing of our nuclear system at Kuburg for six months. How else do you lose hope, start to fear, and then get angry? 
If there's anything that will break this country, it is the loss of hope. The establishment of fear and then anger. Now I can tell you, me being on the ground as a leader, hope, fear and anger now exists and it is not one race, one culture, one religion that is currently experiencing the loss of hope, have fear and is getting angry. It is the majority of South Africans. I can guarantee you that. So we need to stand together as a country. Every time that you write me, WhatsApp me, Facebook me, and tell me that I cannot do anything about anything, that there is no hope, You are sucking the last bit of energy I have to continue the fight. For I, Neil De Beer, I am just a human like you. Yes, we must identify problems. But us as leaders and you as citizens, which are leaders in your own state, you must not lose hope that there is the possibility of taking our country back. Please don't. Yeah, you can fear. You must. And undoubtedly, you can be angry. But keep the hope alive. Jylle kan nie hoop verloor nie. Want as jylle hoop verloor, dan ver loor ek ook hoop. Hoop is al wat ons het. En wat ons hoop behou, is een belofte van God. What keeps the hope alive of this country is a message of God that he will not let us alone. On Saturday, I stood in a poor community at the open coffin of a six-year-old boy called Cheslin April, shot to death by gangsters in a so-called stray bullet. What shocked me was the open coffin and seeing such a tiny small child lying there dead. I am a dad. I have children. And instead of standing at that coffin with a mom and dad and being strong, I broke down in that hall around that tiny coffin of Cheslin April. And what made it more sad was that his father is police warrant officer, Charles April, who at that stage could not defend his own son because of evil. Yes, South Africa, that is what Neil De Beer has to face. Ja, dis wat ons doen, Chris. Ons gee hoop, man. Al gaan ons mense dood en word vermoor op plase en strate, staan ek sterk by die gemeenskap. Al kan ek nie by amal uitkom nie. God is not blind. My God is nie blind. There are hundreds of Cheslin Aprils, if not thousands. We will continue the fight. Os gaan anhou beklei. In Latin, aluta continua, we continue. But our evil 
our total, total people's enemy is the ANC, SACP, Kusatu and their partners, the new political partners that are standing with them. This is the cabal. You see, you can't call them enemies of the state because they are the state. This is the murder they allow. But except for that, we'll keep on. My last point is very simple. South Africa as a company, if South Africa was a company, a South Africa maatskapai was, in other words, SAPTY, we would have to stand back and ask ourselves, how is this company going at the moment today? Now, if you took it as a company, the president is the chairman of the board, the ministers of the board of directors and the shareholders is you, 60 million of us. And here come the For the past 28 years, the same board, the same chair people are voting in the same people to run this company for the past 30 bloody years. For the absolute afgelope 30 jaar stem die meerderheid van hierdie aandeelhouers die selfde mense van die selfde achtergrond om hierdie maatskapie te beheer. En die rede hoekom hierdie mense die meerderheid elke bloody jaar hier die mense instem is omdat hulle nie volwasse in die brein is nie. Dit beteken nie dat hulle dom is nie, dit beteken net dat hulle nie op hierdie oomlik die intelligentie het om een onemotionele besluit te neem om hierdie ANC uit te stem nie. Hulle het nie die intelligentie nie. En die ANC het dit so bewerkstellig. Hoor my, dit is die waarheid, dit is die bom wat ek nou gooi van die waarheid. Die ANC het hulle eie mense dom gehou. Want jy kan nie met een intelligente volk Steel soos jy nou steel nie. Dis die feite, spry dit, sê vir amal ek sê so. Want een mens wat jy met Kentucky, een temp en een keppie kan onkoop, het nie een intelligentie om dit weg te stoot nie. Hy aanvaard dit en gee dis sy kruisie om hierdie mormone hierdie mense wat ons op hierdie oomlik in die donker hou, om hulle vrachtig weer te vir vijf jaar aan te stel. Zuid-Afrika, dit is die waarheid. Daar is hy. The African National Congress and its government and its cabal do not want an intelligent nation. They do not want to educate the masses because they will then be automatically exposed. Hear me well. It suits the ANC to keep their population uneducated because they can throttle them with Kentucky, a t-shirt and a cap and the emotion and the picture of Mandela. And then they come and make the cross because they are intimidated by emotion. That's the truth. Spread this. And until we don't bring the masses to a level of education where they can unemotionally separate themselves, look at the country and its demise. Look what they have not gained. See TikTok and Facebook of how the opulence of their leaders are driving massive cars, stuff their faces with food and wear Louis Vuitton en syp KW14 jaar met Fanta, vrachtig, hulle doen dit hoor, woehoe, hulle vat een mooi glenfiedig whisky met spruit, waar de donner, vat jy so'n ethische mooi drankie, 
en jy moer vente of kook. Ik praat niet van een normale goede brandewijn met kook nie, ek praat nou van een cognac. Een 30 jaar oude whisky neek jy in met Fanta. My pa krij die stijpen in sy graf. Maar dit is die waarheid. Stadig maar zeker is die totale, totale plan van die ANC om die meerderheid van hierdie mense dom te hou is bezig om uit mekaar uit te val. Want ons het nou media op een cellfoon. Ons het media en elke persoon omtrent in hierdie land zwart en wit, arm en rijk, ek weet Hij persoon het te voen. En dit is waar ons verlossing gaan kom, Zuid-Afrika. Is dat dit nie net ek en jy wat kan lees, wat kan skryf, wat kan dink, wat kan intelligente besluiten maak nie, maar dat die hele land kan zien hoe die ANC leiderskap hulle toekomst des de moer toe maak met hulle geldgierigheid in hulle aanbidding van die God Mammon. Dit is waar dit kom. Jy sien, ek het hierdie ding, ne? die net een mooi gezicht hier nie. Vat die waarheid vandag, sit om in jou hart, gooi om op jou spreekbuis, mora as jy sit by die braai, vertel die mense wat Neel de Beer gesê het. Want hierdie wat ek vir jou sê, ek weet nie wat ek vir jou sê nie, dit kom uit die Heere uit. Dit neek hier in my hart en ek spreek om, jy kan sien, ek lees nie van die voetstuk af nie. Het is begeesterd man. Vat die boodskap. Klou om vast. En as jy by die kerk is zondag, by jou huis is zondag, waar ook al jy God prijs, praat met jou bierman. Want wat ek jou nou vertel is die waarheid. Maar wees voorzichtig om te dink dat de mens wat uit de boek geleerd is, slim is. Be careful that you don't automatically judge a man's intelligence on the fact that he's got a degree. Ek het nie een graad van die universiteit nie. Neel de Beer het een ruggraad. Dit is my graad. So be careful to think that a person that is not schooled or university educated isn't clever. Da's iets met die woord van straatslim. Streetwise. I fear man that is streetwise far more than a person that regurgitated documents sat at a university and had to have a good memory. Ek vat lieverste man wat straatwise is na een feit toe as wat ek een persoon kry wat in een boek gelees het hoe my linkerklap te gee hoor. Ek vat lieverste my bikers my mengers, my harde mense, die mense wat met hulle hande werk, die ambachmanne, wat huise bou, loodgieter en elektriciteit vat, die mense wat elke lewe dag die breakdowns rui, die mechanics en die dieselmanne, ek vat so man oorlog toe, want hy ken die theorie van bliksem. Jy sien as jy YouTubes kyk, Facebook videos en TikTok oor MMA, beteken nie dat jy kan een rechter gee nie hoor. Ek ken baie mense van 50 en 60 en in teendeel 70 wat sikke arms het wat vir jou dier een weibekriet sal klap as hy nies. En dis die waarheid. So in conclusion, we've got to stand here and say that this company is bankrupt. That this company is running on international loans that it cannot pay back in four generations. That is a fact, maar dit gee nie ons die reg om hoop te verloor nie. Die entrepreneur that sits in a corner cafe that cannot afford a generator, but that every day makes a plan, that is our saving grace. Hierdie land het nie as gedink om die klein entrepreneur geld te gee nie nie, die 302 miljard rand wat hulle gesteel het, kon honderde duisende bezighede, tenminste een inviter of een generator gegeet, 
maar nie. Hulle het in hulle monde, hulle bekke en hulle sakke gesteek. Een asvoel is een geduldige voel. Ons wacht. Mag die Heere julle seen hierdie week wat voorbij is, op alles wat julle gedoen het, mag hy julle kalmte en ris gee oor hierdie naweek, vir al die mense wat in uniform stok stuif staan om ons te help en te red, baie dankie. Maar moet nie vergeet die mense wat in die winkels rakke pak, die mense wat die tille slaan, en amal wat elke dag opstaan, al is het in donker, en nog een dag beklui, vir jylle, een absolute groot gods, en een baie groot lands dankie, en sien wense, for those that stand the line, our people in and out of uniform, the people that gets up every single day, no matter if it's dark and cold, and fights that fight to keep bread on the table in a country that is desperately lacking of oil in a mechanical engine, you keep on fighting. May God give you that blessing, that peace and that respect, and from a grateful nation, thank you, even if it is in the desperate times of non-hope. Have a good weekend. I'll see you next Friday. I will always be with you. Because as long as God gives me this strength and heals my body, I am dedicated to serve you. And serve I do, and serve I will. Baie dankie vir jylle tyd. Ek kan het nooit vir jylle teruggeen nie. Doe my eigens like nou hierdie gesprek, want het stoot op ons gemeenskap se spry van hierdie boodskap. Forward om soos nog nooit geforward is nie. Stier om aan asjeblief. Kom ons maak hierdie dag se gesprek internationaal. Om hoop in so mooi land nog steeds te behou. Laastens aan die 7 springbokke, on the 7 springboks, make us proud. You have but we need more hope and good news stories. So kom ons nekele, ons is achter die bokkies. Ek praat nou van die springbokkies sewes, ne? Voor hulle nou weer gesê word, ek het iets anders te gesê. Ach, maar met die bokkies ook, ne? Ons gee te min liefde, te min respect vir ons vrouwens. Die dames, so hierdie een, en ten slotte is vir jylle, Ons is lief vir jylle, ons is mal oor jylle. Ons kom nie altyd oor die weg met jylle nie, want ons verstaan nie altyd die vrouwse brein nie. Maar ons bly lief vir jylle wat die land op jylle skouwers dra om ons kinders kost te gee, om ons mans hoop te gee. Dankie nie dames, jylle is een verskrikking van mooi. En my God, altyd ons mans laat weet, ja ons mans is ook nie te bad nie maar aan ons dames, thank you for being us. To our women, thank you for whom you are. Rock solid. Thank you, God bless you, and look after yourself. Baie dankie, God sien jylle, en ons sien jylle in a week. Staan vast, Zuid-Afrika.